Good evening, Aaron. In that report, the Drug Commission detailed just how many people are dying from overdoses in the country, 142 Americans every day. They say they've done the research and now the ball is in President Trump's court. They're urging him to do more to save lives. A drug crisis reaching deadly heights. This is probably the worst drug situation in our country in decades, if not a century. President Trump's Drug Commission calling on him to declare a national emergency on the opioid epidemic. Their recommendations, having health plans provide the same level of services for someone with substance abuse issues, more money for the feds to develop sensors that can detect fentanyl, a synthetic opioid responsible for an increase in overdose deaths, getting more potentially life-saving medicine for opioid addicts into the hands of doctors, nurses, and people working in prisons, and equipping all law enforcement officers with the drug naloxone, or Narcan, which rapidly reverses an opioid overdose. That this is a tool that, that could benefit, you know, people, that it could save, you know, people's lives, young people's lives, you know, that uh, are unfortunately addicted to something that's just sometimes greater than their ability to be able to, to overcome. Deputies with the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office just went through training on how and when to use naloxone. They plan to add it to their arsenal, joining the Santa Cruz Police Department in the fight to combat the county's opioid epidemic. If you have someone that's experiencing an opiate overdose and our deputies get there first, uh, it's, it's an extra, it's, you know, it's, a, it's another tool they have to, to really help people, save people's lives. I mean, that's, that's what we're in the business of doing. Sergeant Clark says backing from the White House would empower them even more in a situation when sometimes seconds can count. Now, the Santa Cruz Sheriff's Office hasn't decided yet if they're going to put naloxone in every patrol car or how many kits they'll need. As far as the Drug Commission's other recommendations to the president, the White House says they will begin reviewing them immediately. Aaron. All right. Thank you, Sierra. Meantime, in the report, the Drug Commission also criticized the administration's budget proposal. It calls for nearly $400 million in cuts to drug and mental health programs.